Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today I want to show you how the cryptocurrency exchange FTX works. I want to give you a quick overview about the features and we will discuss or I will show you how you can actually buy and sell cryptocurrencies and what else you can do on the platform. Um, first of all, FTX is um, now one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world. It's really popular because you can trade derivatives there and you can also deposit money via bank transfer. So fiat currencies like euros or British pound or Australian dollars. And you can also um, withdraw your cryptocurrencies or you can withdraw your euros um, back to your bank account. So it's basically the one place, the one stop shop if you want to trade cryptocurrencies. If you don't have a FTX account yet, um, I will put down a link. I will put a link down in the description that you can use to sign up. And with that link, you can actually save 5% on fees when you trade there. And once you have an account, um, you need to verify your identity. And that's important in order or if you want to deposit euros or British pound or whatever currency you are dealing with and therefore you need to verify your identity and you just go to your name here then click on settings and then you go to identity verification and I'm already verified however if you are not verified there would be a link here and then you can verify your identity and all you need to do for level two is you need to upload a picture of your ID card or your passport and answer a few questions about your address and then they verify your identity. That usually takes one to two days. However, then you um, can deposit regular currencies there and you have no limit or no real limit when it comes to trading. So it really makes sense to verify your identity. Once you have that, the next step would be to deposit some money into your account. And there are several ways to do that. First of all, you can deposit cryptocurrencies there. So you can, for example, deposit Bitcoin there. Just click on deposit in your wallet. And then it shows you a Bitcoin address where you can send your money to. And here you need to use that address and don't use that one. That's for Solana, that's a special version. However, um, depends from where you want to send the cryptocurrencies from and they would usually recognize that it's not a real Bitcoin address. And so always go with the regular Bitcoin address and the same is true for Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies. So besides depositing a cryptocurrency, you can also deposit um, regular currencies like euros and therefore you just go to euro here and then click deposit and then you can do a wire transfer on your view SIPA and with that they give you a bank account where you can send the money to however you have to upload here a proof of wire that basically means once you did the money transfer you need to print out that um, proof as a pdf or a jpeg and upload it here and so that they see that you send the money and then they will check and it usually takes one to two working days and then you will have the money in your account on FTX and you can use it to trade. And you have to make sure that the name of your FTX account is the same as your name of your bank account. And so don't use the bank account of your wife, for example, or vice versa. And you can also deposit money via credit card and therefore you just need to add your card here and then you specify the amount you want to add and then you can click submit however they charge at least a three percent fee and sometimes if you are in a foreign country there can be extra fees for example if they want to exchange the money from euros to us dollars or so on so there can the fee can be actually higher than three percent And that's basically how you can get money into your F FTX account and withdrawing it is basically the same. 
Um, however, when it comes to regular currencies like euros, you have to know there's a, that there's a 10,000 USD limit. So if you are withdrawing less than 10,000 USD, they charge you um, 75 USD fee and they don't process withdrawals under 100 USD. I mean, it wouldn't make sense anyway because um, you would lose most of it in fees. Um, however, if you are trading less than 10,000 or you want to withdraw less than 10,000 USD, you can use another platform like Coinbase. So if let's say you have 5,000 USD, you would transfer it to, or you would trade it to Bitcoin and then you would send these Bitcoins to Coinbase, sell it there and withdraw it there to your bank account and Coinbase only charges 15 cents, so it's way cheaper. However, if you have more than that and you can just use FTX and it's free for you. So that's basically all you have to know about depositing and withdrawing money. And then you can trade there. And there are several ways to do that. So you can either go to markets here and you can see all the markets. You can look for spot. Spot is basically if you want to buy or sell a cryptocurrency. So the normal way of buying or selling a cryptocurrency would be spot. Then there's futures. That's more for advanced users. There you have contracts and you are paying funding every hour um, depending on how the open interest is. And that's more for advanced users. And I really don't recommend that if you're new to it because that's only for active traders. So spot and you can of course also buy stocks there and leverage tokens. And then they have like prediction markets. So you can, for example, bet if Trump will win um, the presidential election in 2024. So that stuff you can trade on. However, if you start out on FTX, you usually trade spot tokens. And that's what I want to show you. Here you can just look for BTC USD and then you can trade it. So here you have the price chart. So you one candle would be one hour and you can change that to like 30 minutes or four hours, for example. And then you have the order book here, all the buy orders in green, all the sell orders in red. And then you have um, here in these fields, you can do your order. So let's say you want to buy Bitcoin, then you can do either a market or a limit order. There are several more orders, however, that's more advanced. I will do a separate video about that. Um, but at the beginning, it's enough if you know what a market order and a limit order is. So market order is basically you say, okay, I want to buy Bitcoin. And then you just say, you just specify how much you want to invest. Let's say you want to invest all your USD that you have. Then you just click buy and the order will get filled immediately. And you will receive immediately your Bitcoins into your wallet. You can also do a limit order. that. It's a bit more complicated there. You can say, okay, I want to buy Bitcoin. Then you specify how much and then you can also say, okay, if the price drops to 40,000 euros, you want to, or USD actually, you want to buy Bitcoin and then you can click buy and then you can see your orders in the order book now and it stays here until the price reaches 40,000 euros. U, um, USD. If it never reaches that place or that price, the order will stay there um, forever. However, you can cancel it anytime. And selling is as easy. You just click sell here and then you can do a limit or market order. And the limit order, you would say, okay, if the price reaches, let's say 50,000 um, USD, you want to sell all your Bitcoins. And market order would be you just specify the amount you want to sell and then you click sell and it would get filled immediately to the best price available on the market. Limit order really is only important if you have a certain price target where you want to buy or sell or if you have a huge amount, let's say more than 10,000 or 100,000 um, USD that you want to invest then it's usually better to do a limit order because um, you're making sure that you get a certain price However, the liquidity here is usually high enough that there, that there shouldn't be too much slippage, even if you buy Bitcoin for like 100,000 US dollars or something like that. 
So that's basically how trading works. Um, as I said, the fees are less than 0.1%. Um, you can actually get cheaper fees if you stake some FTT. So that's their token they have. Here they show you that you can get um, a certain discount on the trading fees. Um, let's say if you stake FTT um, worth 100 US dollars, you already get um, a 3% discount and for 1000 you get a 5% discount and so on, on your trading fees. And that's basically how you can save some money. And as I said, you can also save 5% if you use the link down in the description. And markets, yeah, we can talk about futures. And futures is basically a way for you to speculate on a certain price. There are futures, like quarterly futures, that end in September, for example. So that means Ethereum, September 2021. 20, so you don't pay a hourly funding fee for that. However, the contract will cancel when the contract here expires. So that's um, end of September. And then there are some contracts for December and so on. However, I will do, as I said, a separate video about that. Another good thing about FTX is that you can actually lend out cryptocurrencies there. Let's say you have USD or USD then you can lend them out. Just click here and say, okay, you want to lend everything out and then just click save. And then it's actually lending the money you have there to margin traders and they pay an hourly fee for that. And here you can see the yearly, yearly fee. So if the fee stays the same here, it would be 8% per year. However, it changes hourly depending on supply and demand and you can of course stop lending every hour so you can get your money back every hour so that's quite convenient and you can also lend out cryptocurrencies and as i said the interest here is annually and it changes every hour and you can also if you buy stocks so there are a lot of stocks traded on ftx it's also um, done so there's a German company in the back it's CM equity who handles all the stock trading so that if you buy stocks on FTX it's like buying stocks on Robinhood or on any other app you would also get um, dividends for example if they pay dividends and you would actually also get them so it's um, quite cool and you can also lend out your stocks here to margin traders and sometimes, so I've seen that you would get a 20% interest on Amazon stocks in the past. And as I said, it's quite safe because um, FTX is handling everything. So that's a quick overview about FTX, how you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies there, how you can deposit some money. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to use the comments down below. And if you find that video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.